welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know, I moved a couple cameras around. We got one puppy back here that's going to be joining us. Today is going to be the very basic introduction to clogging. I did this for 18, 19 years. I uh, was part of various groups, taught a couple groups, had a competition group, and uh, it was good fun. Unfortunately, uh, the older you get, uh, different things come into play, so we kind of stared away from it. But what I'm going to do today, this has kind of been a thing on the back burner I've really wanted to do for quite a few years, is to be able to teach on a platform where obviously for COVID reasons, uh, getting together in large groups isn't the best idea. And I figured, I think people have become accustomed to more online stuff. And um, there's a couple of benefits to doing it this way is, one of them, where I got allergies today, but one of them was when we would go to what they were called convention centers, uh, where you'd go to see big teachers, they'd have classes of two, three hundred people, and you couldn't always see the instructor. Then they had to elevate them. Then you couldn't see the um, the feet work, so it was kind of hard. As you can see up here, I have a right now a small foot camera down here, and I can flip flop these back and forth. Um, so you're going to have a behind view as well as a foot view, and then I can switch them as well. So today is the basic, and it's called the basic. It's the basic step, uh, which is the fundamental of clogging. Super simple. Um, if you can keep a beat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's it. You're, you're more than halfway there already. Uh, it is pretty easy. Um, there's nobody around you which a lot of people don't like to go to weekly classes uh, for feeling a little bit embarrassed because maybe they can't pick it up as quick. Um, when you go to classes in your local area, if you have them, you'll get a wide variety of people. And uh, just as life is, uh, some people pick it up a lot quicker than others. And unfortunately, the instructor and the teacher cannot... Um, always stick with the slowest person, so then they feel like they're left out uh, because the rest of the group that is paid um, needs to carry on with the instructions for whatever dance that they're learning. Uh, we are going to be doing something called freestyle, which we're not going to be using any music right now. Um, traditionally, um, back in the Appalachian days, it was, clog dancing was performed or danced to fiddles, banjos, stuff like that. But I'm sure you've seen on TV quite a few times now that they do it to pop music and all the new up-to-date music. If anything has a beat, you can dance to it or clog to it, pretty much needless to say. So everything revolves around the one step called the basic. And this video today is going to be very short. Um, it's the first one. I don't know how it's going to go. I have a couple things set up and hopefully, um, I am recording it as well. And the recordings will go onto YouTube because I don't think Twitch keeps them that long. So I'd like a way to preserve them for future people that want to watch it and I'll edit it, edit it. I will edit the video, the Twitch video, the one that I'm recording right now, and uh, I can post that on YouTube, and then you can either go back and watch it, or uh, somebody new to the area uh, can also watch it. So there is a chat available. I can see the chat, so if you post something up in chat, um, I'll be able to see it on the screen uh, if we need a little bit of clarification. So the only... The only drawback to this is uh, I will not be able to interact verbally with you, but if you put something up in chat, I'll definitely be able to to see that and we can address it uh, kind of as we go along. So as long as you can keep a beat, one, two, three, four, you're, you're more than halfway there. Like I said, uh, this is a fun place. 
Uh, it's a place where we can all relax and have a little fun and uh, learn something new. So I will switch the cameras here to this one. And then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to place this one right here. Mind the uh, noise for a second. And I think this one's going to work. Like I said, you got to bear with me a little bit because this is all new. And then maybe I'll put this here out of the way. And then we should be able to to kind of see a little bit what's going on. So let me angle this down just a smidge. And yeah, we're we're getting right into this. So a couple of ways you can uh, think about doing this, um, which is very easy, is you don't you don't need to have special shoes. Obviously, you can see I have some torn up uh, shoes. You can do this on any ground, tile, wood, whatever you want. So the first thing you need to do is understand that the you have a heel and you have a ball or the toe of your foot. So if you were to think of a, let me just get something really quick. A pencil on the floor. Let me put that right there. So you got a pencil on the floor. Now, if I were to say, push that pencil with the ball or toe of your foot, I'll refer to it as the ball. So I don't want your whole foot to drag across the ground. I just want, so kind of arch your toes up a little bit, and then you can, you can push that pencil, right? Like that. So let me flip it this way. So you can kind of push that pencil, right? So you need like three, three major little things to learn for today. Super simple. So what we're going to do, don't mind the shorts. Man, those are horrific. Wow, I did not dress the part today. So the first step, or the first part of the step called the basic, is a ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit it going forward like you're pushing that pencil. So you're going to go, right? So your foot is kind of angled up a little bit. As long as you can kind of get that angle figured out. So you're going to make that little scuff sound. Right? So a little. And you'll learn the pressure. Sometimes you're a little too hard and it won't move. Just enough to scuff it. Right? So the second part to the basic is after you pushed it forward you're going to make the same sound coming back, right? So you're going to go, and if you want to break this step down a little more, little more, this is called a double toe, right? Or double ball. I think if you're from the tap world, it's like, double ball change or something like that. I'm not really sure. So we call this a double toe. So you go one, two, then put your foot down, right? So kind of bring that heel up a little bit just to give you a little bit more area to work with, I guess. So one, two, step. So that is called a double toe step right double toe step so i'll let you listen to it here so hit the ball on the way out hit the ball on the way back and then step and turn this way Essentially, you have to put your foot down. So as long if you have a hard time remembering things like this, just think toe, toe, and then you're done. 
right? If you want to do it on the other foot, toe, toe, done. So you can go toe, toe, done. Toe, toe, done. If you're having a hard time getting that, you can always go. Right? Just to get the sound and the rhythm. So if we want to just do a sound and rhythm, toe, toe, step. Now you kind of have that rhythm, so we can go toe, toe, step. 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 What I should have done in the beginnings is actually show you what we are learning. Maybe that's my fault of mine. So what we are learning today is this. That's a basic. up a little bit All right so it can get it can go as fast as you want to the music double toe step double toe double toe double toe All right so what we're going to do is we're going to slow it down just a little bit. Now you know what we are building on this one. So starting with your right foot. I don't know if that shows right foot on the... Shows right foot on this camera. Sorry. So kind of bring our heel up a little bit. Toe, toe, step. Ready? And if we want to start a group of people to start dancing or all dancing on the same key or not key, but same beat, we say five, six, seven, eight, toe, toe, step. Switch to the other foot. There's my balance there. Toe, toe, step. Toe, toe, step. Toe, Toe step. Toe toe step. Toe toe step. Toe toe step. Toe toe step. Okay, I'm not sure which view is going to be good, so we'll switch it this way a little bit. Okay, toe toe step. Toe toe step. Toe, toe, step. Toe, toe, step. Toe, toe, step. Just like you're pushing that pencil off, right? Won't be able to bring it back, but so we go. Toe, toe, step. Toe, toe, step. Toe, toe, step. Toe, toe, step. Okay. So that's kind of the first part of this toe toe step toe toe step toe toe step toe toe step okay so the next part we're going to learn actually let me break this down the first part of this step is the toe toe step okay so if you did your on your right foot as you can see with this camera back here that's looking from behind me, if we start on the right foot, toe, toe, step, what you need to do on your left foot now, it's always opposite. Do something on one, then it goes to the other. What we're going to do is we're going to use the ball of our left foot 
put it behind us, not too far. I don't know if you can see there, see how. So I'm not going like way back here, which is usually a common thing that people try to do is really, um, really show that that next step off, which is called a rock step. But you don't need to go too far back because if you go too far back, your balance then starts to become off. So as long as you're just doing the step because you need to hear that step beat, you don't really need to go really far back. So if, you're, if your feet are lined up, I'd say as long as you're a heel back, like right here, as long as you're, you're a heel back because this is comfortable to me, then that's kind of where you need to be. So I'll do the rock step on my right foot so you can see it on the camera. So we're, all we're going to be doing is taking the ball of our foot and putting it behind us just a slight bit. So we're going to go. And then you lift the weight off your other foot and then put it back down. This is called a rock step. So if we just want to learn the rock steps right now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our foot behind us, go rock step, bring it back up, rock step, bring it back up, rock step, bring it back up, rock step, right? So this is the second part of that, what we call the basic, rock step. So you hear those two sounds here, right? Uh, if you're starting to get confused, don't worry, because I'm just kind of giving you the steps to give you that feel. Right? Rock, step. Rock, step. Okay? So now, let's try this. If you follow me on this, we'll do it one, kind of one part at a time. So with your right foot, I want you to do a double toe step. Right? So it's going to be now take your left foot and do that rock step. Okay, let's try that again, starting from the right foot, double toe step, starting off the right foot. So double toe step with your left foot now, because we're switching, rock step. Okay, we're going to try that again, starting on the right foot, double toe step, rock step. Okay, bring our feet back up, starting on the right foot again, double toe step, rock step. Okay, now some people are good because they're prominent on one side than the other. If you kick a football with your right foot. You may find it a little bit different going to the other foot, but now we're going to try the double toe step on the left foot. So, double toe step. Right foot is a rock step now because we're switching back and forth. Rock step. I know you can see all the little feet hanging off the, oh, this way, off the couch back there. Somebody's sleeping away. So with the left foot, we're going to do the double toe step, rock step. So double toe step, rock step. Okay. Double toe step, rock step. So see when you do this, so this is kind of where things, kind of the flow comes into it. So if we start with our double toe on our left foot, double toe step rock step right so i'm really really pronouncing that rock step right now just to show you something but see how my foot is still in this arched position right here that allows us then to switch the basic to the other side so if i start with my left foot double toe step rock step see how it's up now I can go double toe step, rock step. Because okay, let me let me let me try this. Let me try and speak this another way. 
So I'm going to start with my left foot. So my my weight is now on my right leg, right? Because I can kind of move this one around. So if I go double toe step, my weight is still primarily on my right leg, right? Double toe step. Now, for me to do the rock step on the right one, I have to transfer my body weight to my left leg, which allows me to rock step. But, right, so I did that rock step, but my weight is still primarily on my left side, right? So that allows me then just to seamlessly go into the double toe step, right? So let's start from the, from the beginning. We'll go back over the double step, and we'll start from there. So starting with the right foot, we need to make two sounds off of the ball of our feet. One's pushing out, one is pushing back in. So, oh, way too far. There. So with the right foot, I'm going to push out, pull back, and step. Listen for the sounds. Okay, I'm going to switch my weight, and I'm going to do it with my left foot. Okay, I'm going to switch it back to my right leg. We're going to do another double toe step. And I'm going to do one on my left. So I'm going to do one on the right side. Now I'm going to do one on the left. I'm going to do one on my right. I'll do one on my left. So essentially you can you can start to get this rhythm and just continue going forward with it, right? So we can go So once you try and you, you start to get that feel down, kind of between the contact with your foot and the floor, it'll become a little bit easier. Sometimes you'll, you'll, what do they call it when you're golfing? You got a whiff? There's a big whiff. Oof, there's a big whiff too. So sometimes you do too hard, right? But we just need just to scuff that floor just a little bit, pretending there's a penny on the ground there. And you're trying to kind of kick that penny out and then trying to pull that penny back. Because you've seen a penny on the ground, you're trying to pull it back, right? So that's all we're trying to accomplish with this. Right, so that's the double toe step. Now, once you start to get a little bit more comfortable with this, feel free as you're walking around the house, just you can do it while you're walking. Right, so essentially, you don't have to really accentuate it going out back and there you can kind of do it in a forward motion
either with their Okay, I'm starting to think my camera angles are not typically the best here, but I think we're going to get through it today. So that's a double toe step. So Okay, so we have our double toe step. Say we're we should be pretty good on that one right now. So let's go back to the rock step to part. Sorry, to part. Let's go back to the rock step part of it, which will then complete the entire step called the basic. So if we're going to start with our left foot, typically when you when you dance, a lot of the songs always start with the right foot, but due to the camera angle today, we're going to start with the left foot so you can kind of follow along. So we're going to start with a double toe step, starting on the left foot. So we're going to go. And with our right foot, we're going to do that small rock step, which is on the ball of your foot. Okay, start with the left foot again. We're going to do the double step. And on the right foot, rock step. Okay, start with the left foot again. Double step. Right foot is the rock step. Okay, left foot start. Rock step on the right. Okay, let's start it on the right foot this time so you can kind of see this angle. With the rock step. Okay, right foot again. Okay. Let me switch the camera. That might be easier. So we're going to start with the right foot. Okay, right foot again. Right foot again, double toe step with the rock step on the left, right? So we start with a double toe step on the right and then the rock step on the left. So double toe step, rock step on the left. Okay, start on the right again. So now if you want to continue the basic step, Start on the right, double toe step, rock step with the left. Now, because my heel is still in, in the air a little bit, typically there's, there's no weight on this, now I can start my basic from the left side. Rock step on the right now. Okay, so I'm just going to start. I'll, I'll stay in this position so you can kind of see it. And then if you kind of whim it or muff it up a little bit, no problem. You know it's a double toe step, rock step. 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 Right? So you, you'll know that the double toe starts on the left, then it starts on the right, then it goes back to the left, then it goes back to the right, then it goes back to the left, then it goes back to the right. So if you, if you fluff it up a little bit, no worries, you'll be able to watch and then kind of jump back in. So I'm going to start on my right and I'm going to go very slowly. And then I'm going to continue with the left and back to the right. Okay, so we're going to start with the right. 
double toe step, rock step, 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 double toe step, rock step. I know some people have a hard time listening when they're learning. They just like to watch. So we're just going to do a, a few quiet ones. Okay, we're going to start with a right, and we'll do a bunch of quiet ones. Now, I apologize for the 64 dog toes, cat toes, and tails banging on the floor upstairs right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a soundproof room. Yep, yeah. happy puppies, happy puppies. And it's like right above me too. <laughs> I apologize. So some people find it a little bit easier to go a little bit faster. Some people find it easier to go slower. So we'll kind of start a little bit slower and then we'll try and pick the speed up just a little bit to see if it's a little bit more comfortable for you. So we'll start on the right, double toe step, starting on the right. So we'll do four of them slower. Okay. We'll try and pick it up just a little bit right here. Okay, we'll go just a touch faster. This is almost like a normal walk now kind of speed. And if you're really crazy, you wanna go a touch faster, we'll see. Ready? So the faster you go, the less pronounced visually your steps become because you're trying to do it faster, right? See how they've really tightened up now? Sorry if that just kind of screwed you up there. All right. So I think that will be enough for today's test stream. Let me go 
gonna situate in here. Go there. Oh, hi, there you are. Hi, I'm your teacher. So, um, dancer, professional clog dancer, whatever you want to call it, had a blast for years. So, that was the basic step double toe step, rock step, double toe step, rock step. That's the basic, not that you're basic. That's the step within clogging called the basic step. So that's kind of a fundamental of every dance. You will have the basic step to either move forward, backwards, left and right in a circle. And then they do accentuated steps amongst those. But once you understand, and I want you to re-watch this video a couple times to make sure you're comfortable with the basic. Because that tempo and that rhythm and that beat set that you're going to get is what the other steps are built off of. So if you're thinking you're having a hard time with this one because maybe it's a little bit too tricky, uh, you're just going to learn the other ones. I would not go to the other ones just yet. I would just re-watch this one until you become comfortable with that basic step. If that takes you uh, five minutes, some people, like I said in the beginning, some people are quicker than others. If that takes you a week, keep trying it here and there. Hey, when you're at the kitchen sink or when you're at the bathroom or if you're whatever it is, wherever you feel that that spark where nobody's around you, you just kind of want to dial it in a little bit. Just remember that. Double toe step, rock step. Double toe step, rock step. Once you get that into your muscle memory and it becomes more of a natural kind of fluid little thing to do, then everything else from this point will be easy because it's based on that, that toe scuffing. So the, the clogging dance, the clogging basics, the clogging styles that people do is all associated with that, that toe scuffing or tapping or pushing or pulling or double tapping. Um, whatever it is, but it's, it all comes down to that beat set. Um, double toe step, rock step, double toe step, rock step, double toe step, rock step. So if you can master this basic step, I, I'll call you a clogger. I'll say you can clog. Uh, absolutely. Why not? Right. It's just other steps that you do. Because if you did a whole dance just by doing basics, kind of cool right now uh, because you can actually do something to it and you can say you're a clogger. Um, but I don't know if 2021 saying that was really a big thing. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, but hey, when, they're, when music's on in the kitchen or if you're doing stuff, it's kind of cool to be able to put footwork to music, right? So, hey, every, like I said, everybody learns at their own pace. You, you be yourself. Don't be worried about how people are going to judge you. Um, this is a cool thing. It's hard for people to be able to dance. And any age can do this. I've taught. Um, I kind of did a thing uh, many moons ago now. You can tell by the gray hair. Uh, I wanted to teach kids because kids are sponges. And, but their attention span is very short. Um, but hey, squirrel, right? It's kind of thing. So there again, doesn't matter what age you are. Some kids picked it up super simple because they have a beat. Maybe somebody in their family listens to music a lot. Maybe somebody in their family plays an instrument. Maybe they like to play an instrument so they understand the beat concept of it where 
some younger children had a very 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 hard time it was almost it was almost like it was torturing their brain to put you know those four beats together um but they could do other things like they could uh they could run and they could jump and they could do art but it was really hard for them to put a beat system in their head uh did they learn yeah of course they learned i, I was their teacher right so it's kind of a it's kind of a thing you just have to progress with at your stage which is why i think doing this live on twitch uh, is new for me just like you learning clogging is new for you so we're, we're both kind of new at this right um i have the fundamentals of clogging that i can provide to you um so yeah so it, it's kind of a we're all learning here and we're all new at this and each different stage of whatever we're doing right so don't be afraid don't be don't be shy get out there and do it i still break out a beat in the kitchen every once in a while or when a good song comes on or we have youtube on sorry throughout the night i hear a good country tune or i i start that it, it's constantly going through my head about doing steps right so that's kind of cool and it's something that's not out there a lot uh down south we had to travel because we're in canada we had to travel down south uh weekends and really cool for my parents uh, my whole family did it sorry um my mom my dad and myself all clogged so it was kind of a family thing it was really cool but we got to travel to a lot of really cool places where cloggers would, would come to. I found out in the schools down south, um, some of the schools, they take it as a credit. So it was kind of cool to learn. But it originated in the Appalachian Mountains uh, where the fiddle was. Uh, I actually took, I went to the Appalachian Mountains and... Uh, in the hills, I think they were making moonshine when I showed up. Um, I was a little bit younger, um, but I remember it being white and them drinking quite a bit of it and sleeping. So putting my adult head to it, I can naturally assume that uh, that was moonshine. And let me tell you, it was, it was in the sticks. Um, I went to a house into a porch in the front which essentially had enough room for um the girl's father uh wearing overalls playing a banjo and a straw hat uh, he would sit in the corner the mother was kind of in the doorway with a fiddle and the daughter was teaching me how to flat foot so it's another variation of uh clogging more it's almost like dialects and i think the easiest way i can explain this is um in the italian community or sorry in the in in italy what province you go to has a different dialect uh i was born in england and from each city to city to city you have different slang words or a different dialect but you're still speaking english same as clogging you have the basics of clogging it's double step rock step double step rock step but there's different dialects of it um which you can do which gives it a different look and a different sound um so i did quite a few trips down there and learned some of the flat foot work where it was originated from so that was that was kind of cool but today we're doing the uh, what i will be teaching you I may even teach you some of this. That, that would be kind of cool in the future. And uh, it's just different positioning of the feet. Really nothing too, too crazy. So I really appreciate you being here. Well, let me look at the stats. Nobody was here. But I appreciate you watching. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. Um, I will be taking this Twitch stream. I'm recording it and I will cut out a lot of the unnecessary and I will post that onto YouTube. Um, and the 
posting titles that I have on Twitch will follow onto YouTube. So if you start at 001 being today, which is the basic, then once you're comfortable with that, you can go to the 002, three and consecutive, right? And we'll just keep up from there. It also allows people that are new to this, um, may have just found this stream, to be able to jump over to the YouTube side to see 001 and then at their rate catch up to us wherever we are or wherever I am wherever you're joining me from so there's no language barrier because you can see and hear the feet you can associate double toe step with what I'm doing um, there's no age limit so if you want to get your kids into it as well hey okay, there's no charge for this uh, zero this is a zero this is me giving to you um, so yeah I think this will be really fun and I will try and keep them we're at 48 minutes now I'll try and keep them to 45 minutes to an hour and I will try and do this twice a week um, I do have a pretty hectic workload personally and um, I, want, I just want to be able to share. Hey, some may be uh, 15, 20 minutes. I, I don't know. But I will be doing live Twitch with this one. With this one, you, you are here on live Twitch. So I will be doing this live on Twitch as a live kind of class. Once a week, twice a week, I'm not sure yet um, where it's going to go. I don't know. Uh, but I'm just glad you're here. I'm glad you're around. Uh, feel free to post up in the chat uh, if you have questions or you're stuck on something or you have a suggestion for a different camera angle or hey maybe there's clogging in your area and you're having a hard time and you have some information you want to share with us maybe you're having a hard time on a step we can also kind of jump onto that as well and go through that so thank you I appreciate you that you're here. I appreciate that you watched. And see you on the next one. 002. Thank you.